the ones that I would uh, advise is you can do asparagus, tiba. So I, I think I did some videos about that where um, we did some asparagus paste oh, yeah. and you can eat it like one or four six how many times that you want and then you can well, also it's, use it, my you gotta admit though it's tough to get past the first time yes but but you but you like you would love it after that mm. and mm -hmm. then siling labuyo siling labuyo <laughs> can be used for wheat lungs oregano hello so a lot of you have been asking me lately about uh, lung detoxification and urinary uh, trap detoxification. So one of the best recipes that I have discovered is actually using asparagus, okay? So this uh, home remedy is one of the best uh, home remedy that I have experienced in my life. So come here and then I will show it to you. So you need, what you need are stocks of um, asparagus and they have to be extremely fresh, okay? So and then a uh, boiling water, it's very simple. So this one, okay, these are the stalks of asparagus. Just chop them into smaller pieces if you want. Okay, you can chop them whichever you want. And then put them in boiling water. So this one, it has been boiling already. So just put them all there. Okay, look at it, guy. So they will all see. Okay, so let it boil okay for a couple of minutes okay make sure that they're very very soft okay so this is the i already boiled a lot for you so come here okay so these are the the stock that i boiled prior to that and then after that you mashed it okay so you can use you know this one just mash it make sure they're very very soft okay so the water there where you boil the asparagus you can drink it this one just smash it mm. you can also blenderize them if you have a blender it would be a lot easier for you but me i'm a martyr so i just want it you know mashed <laughs> don't be like me i'm a martyr okay so make it like uh, uh, around one tablespoon so like one tablespoon like that just make it smaller just really really mash it like a baby like a baby's food just really really mash it and then you just give it to your uh, relative to your patient who is suffering from a uh, lung cancer or just for any respiratory tract infection and also for urinary tract infection so if they're having a uti they're having bladder problems prostatitis uh, all of these uh, conditions so how do you give it like if you give it for lung uh, problems it has it should be given one tablespoon two to three times a day and if they have urinary tract problems you have to give it two tablespoon twice a day that's it i hope you enjoyed my video